Hi, this is just a quick follow-up video to this Wea Speedy Electric Screwdriver showed in a previous uh, mailbag. Very uh, nice, sort of like a traditional electric uh, screwdriver, well, traditional form factor screwdriver, but it's electric. You just spin it like that and it turns and it's uh, supposed to have like a um uh, well it's rated you can see it there zero to eight uh newton meters that's for the screwdriver itself so it'll go up to eight newton meters before like that's its physical limit before it breaks that's nothing to do with the electric uh functionality but if you plug the uh bit in then it has a uh, 0.4 newton meter um like it's a torque but it actually stops it's it's not a uh, clutch based slip system the motor will literally stop at oh, 0.4 newton meters which i thought in the review um i said that's not really it's not really enough it doesn't tighten them up much it's it's not bad it's not a bad compromise but it only has the one torque setting and then and i also noticed the uh there's a bit of wobble in that bit as well and uh, uh, at least one person pointed out well the wobble was due to the fact that I didn't use this which I called an extension bar like an extender type thing but it's actually not it's a, what's called a Wea Easy Torque adapter and you can see it's actually rated for 2.8 newton meters on there it's the 29 uh, 70 type max uh, 5.8 newton meters so if you use this with the screwdriver it's going to be less than the nominal uh, 8 uh, newton meters but it's actually a torque adapter but I still don't see the point of this thing because this electric screwdriver has as I said an electronic stop at 0.4 newton meters so it's not like you know you can whack this on and it goes up to 2.8 because the motor is still going to stop at that maximum of 0.4 newton meters and well I just don't see the point of this let me uh demonstrate here i'll just get a uh just a screw a nice big metal uh screw here so let's just try and screw this in sorry this is kind of going to be like it has to be feel a vision um so you'll kind of have to trust me on this uh it's not very good visually but if i screw that in okay it stops it's fairly light okay that's presumably the 0.4 newton meters uh stopping force and it's okay but then of course what what you do at the end is just then give it a little hand tighten you know like that so you, you do it by hand but you can't just magically whack in this uh adapter like this and anyway, by the way the first thing is sorry i wanted to say that that doesn't stop the wobble in fact it makes it worse sorry i'll just put it there there you go it makes it worse by having that thing on so whoever said it uh oh it, it wobbles because i haven't got this in this easy torque adapter nope it just makes it worse okay so we do this like here we go it stops at exactly the same point as you'd expect because it's electronic uh torque setting in here it just stops and well i don't understand how this works at all look and it's not even an uh, like a mechanical clutch based system i am trust me i am really freaking tightening that now and it's not slipping at all i risk actually breaking uh, the screw or the screwdriver or the torque adapter or whatever i'm going as hard as i physically can and i've got a nice big solid grip on that nothing's slipping and you'll have to trust me i'm really going to i've got to now uh, uh, hold that like that so anyway i don't see the point of why they would even supply this easy torque adapter it, is mine faulty am i not using it right i don't know but is it supposed to be some mechanical i presume the that yellow part is supposed to like have some mechanical slip but it just doesn't seem to work at all anyway um absolutely uh pointless it needs uh, well for this i mean a lot of people uh, said oh this is great for electricians and it probably is who need to do hundreds of connections and stuff like that and i'm sure it's absolutely uh great for that but um yeah just as a general lab screwdriver it's okay i'm, I'm going to be using it but i just wish it had like a variable speed and maybe two torque settings or uh something like that would have been uh nice on it but anyway just wanted to show you that easy torque adapter which seems absolutely pointless to me Anyway, catch you next time.